up, Morgana? Mm. Who could have set us up? Think, Morgana, think. <laughs> Thankfully, we will come to that answer, but not ultra soon, but we will. In fact, the, uh, the traitor's real good. He's good enough this. to worm our way into us, as the Phantom Thieves. He's not good. By the traitor, I mean the person who ratted us out already. Oh boy. Alright. As far as I'm aware, anyway. Or actually, I don't know if he finds it. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's, he's been following us since Okumura's. They, he saw us enter that, remember? And of course, I'm talking about a catchy dirt hurdy dirt. However, okay, so, what are we doing today? We are going, I think, to make more coffee at this point. What's up, Sojuro? Yeah. Now then, I need to think about tonight's dinner. What ingredients did I have left? Yeah, okay. Alright, just gonna make SP coffee galore for size dungeon. And I'll have a nice buffer of SP items to just hopefully just blitz through the entire dungeon in a night. That would be ideal. In, in a game night, of course. And hopefully, like, a, a real life night is in two night as well. We'll see. Hmm, I'll just smell a good coffee. Two night is yes. of recording this, right. of course. The way you're drinking it makes it look delicious. I start coffee. <laughs> Looks like this chef's gentleman charm is rubbing off on you. I know there's the curry and it's an SP item too, but I just want to use the coffee for the rest of the game. I don't know. It's really good. Mm. <laughs> and there's plenty of opportunities to make it, and I get two, so. Looks like you're at it again. How's it going? Here, I'll just... And he loves it, it's awesome and amazing. Oops. It's Costa Rican SHB. Costa Rica is abundant in nature with a large variety of plant and animal life and has been exporting coffee for centuries. Strictly hard bean SHB is a grade given to coffee grown at a high altitude of, of 4,500 feet. It has an elegant aftertaste and sweet aroma. Yeah, yeah I hear approval. That's pretty huge. Heck yeah. Feels good, man. Yes. I have another suggestion. Become more of an asshole. Like me. The Phantom Thieves, then mobilize the police. Also known as a dick move, because we're dicks here. The rest will go as you mentioned. <laughs> Still, I'm truly amazed at the atrocious methods you come up with. I am extremely evil. It's so obvious. And for some reason, Sai, who's supposed to be a- who's very clearly a very smart woman, because she's onto the Phantom Thieves so much, seems completely oblivious to the possibility that he is in league with bad people and directly opposing her investigation. Oh well. I wonder what kind of people the culprits are. I honestly feel like that's just like a bad, uh, gameplay thing, you know? Like, it not be a gameplay, bad writing thing. It's just kind of, like, conveniently there to keep the plot in place, and it doesn't really... I don't know, it kind of feel makes Sai look like an idiot. If you all... I mean, especially with Akechi, her basically partner being the main, uh... Villain of the story, spoilers! Hey. Obviously, some idiots with a misguided sense of justice. Yeah, a lot of people would say that. But we have our reasons, and I don't think they're idiotic. I, I, as a person, really don't think so. But of course, this kind of thing isn't possible in real life, so the ethics of this sort of thing... I don't really know if it's so important to debate them, although I do find it interesting to do so. But yeah. Look, can they just arrest those guys already? Special Investigations is on it. I'm sure they'll be caught soon. Ahaha, <laughs> they wish. Uh, they will kind of catch us, but thankfully we have an inside lady. She's just not inside yet. But she will be. Yeah, I, I mean, she's inside the organization, but she won't be in our camp yet for a little bit. But she will be. What kind of people are they? I want to see what they look like. You'll get the chance to do that too, friends, or at least partially. Taeve with our masks on at one point, oh, which is an awesome on? scene, by the way. I totally froze up when the cops talked to me. I bet they consider me a suspect now. How much longer are they going to do this? We should be busy preparing for the school festival right now. Why'd the school decide to have a festival so late anyway? I mean, changing the date just because our school's all over the news. Moving it to next Tuesday only makes more work for us. We'll be able to ha invite friends from other schools now that we're holding the festival on a weekday. It'll also be an inconvenience to everyone we already invited. And what about the post-festival party? Will there be enough people for the student sharing special? <sighs> it's gonna be a real weird festival with morale so low. 
Speaking of the annoying media, we've been getting phone calls in the faculty office. The absurdity of it all. Who exactly are the Phantom Thieves? That's what we want to know. We really have no clue what method they're using. Killing someone without directly interacting with them is like magic. Speaking of magic, did you know that there's a magic in- there's magic in math, math too? A magic square. It's a square in which adding up the numbers in any row, column, or diagonal gives you the same total. Durgensan, please look at this. Do you know this one? Now, tell me the total count for each column in this magic square. Internet magic. I mean, uh... Fifteen. <laughs> this is it. Correct. That's correct. It's easy once you know which numbers fit in the empty squares, or you could just press down on the touchpad. <laughs> a three times three square only has one pattern, but a four times four square has eight hundred and eighty possibilities. In a five times five square, there are more than two hundred million. Could you believe that? I can't really, that's pretty awesome fact. I love learning cool facts from this video game and this series in general. I enjoy it very much. Also, I really do enjoy that we get a pretty good view of Mon's butt here. Mmm, nice. Anyway, sorry. Uh, Durgan Kuhn seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Nice, go. Also, I really like her boots. They're kind of hot. I mean, she's a model. Of course, she's wearing rather stylish and sexy clothing to a degree. But certainly not like as much as she would be like on a shoot, I'd imagine, but those boots are really hot to me. Oh, you must really be smart to be able to answer Like, thank you, my god, uh, uh, thank you! Uh, uh. If you had to choose, would you try to find the Phantom Thieves or solve 200 million magic squares? I'd choose the magic squares, hands down. They might both be magic, but magic squares can be calculated. And math doesn't kill anyone. Hmm. Having everyone there out there looking for the culprit is getting me down. Especially, yeah, especially because the culprit is, especially because they keep thinking the culprit's us, and it ain't. So what do we gotta do as the school festival's exec committee? I'll need some help with questionnaires. What questionnaires? The ones regarding who people want to see as the guest of honor. Alright, that thing they do every year. You mean how those lame guests come to do a panel, right? The festival's dates were changed because of the situation. We need to hurry and tally the results. Come to the student council room once classes are over. Ugh, it's so damn boring. Don't be like that. It's so we can meet up without standing out. Let's do what we can at the moment. I'm making sure to work hard at home. Of course you are, Fordaba, but you do that all the time. But it's still extremely helpful. Like, we would absolutely not be here without her. Granted, we wouldn't be here without any of the other Phantom Thieves, but she is a very, very, very important component with which every one of our latest heists would not have happened. I can look stuff up, so did you find anything- did you find anything, Haru? About that. No, about that. No good, huh? I'm sorry. It'll rouse suspicion if I ask too many detailed questions. No worries. I'll manage on my end somehow. I believe in you, Fataba! We're counting on you. I can't go, but message me if anything happens. I'll leave this to you guys. My apologies, but I cannot be of much help in this situation. At least he wants to be. At least he wants to help. He has the intention. That's a Gucci, Gucci, Gucci irreplaceable thing. Good intentions. Damn it. Regardless of how I'm many people doing crap like this. don't really put much stock in intentions, I do. You don't need to keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? Goro Akechi. This one too, Akechi. They're mostly the same over here as well. Everyone's so eloquent when they can be anonymous. It's like they never accepted us to begin with. It would be nice if you did some work too, Ryuji-kun. You came to help us count these, right? Come on, leader. Can you tell him too? Take this seriously, Ryuji. We're gathering information too. You know, like, uh, online and stuff. I guess that's one way of saying it. Whoa, look here. This ain't good. Criminal profiling? The acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. And their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Okumura was just a warm-up? Oof. Uh, so now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. God, this is so effing stupid! Damn it! We have the results. First place is Goro Akechi. What? Akechi? 
What are you so surprised for? We've been mentioning him this whole time. Seriously? Not some singer or an idol? It's because of us that his popularity has skyrocketed. We're the ones counting the results. Can't we just make him up? We don't have to get him. People will figure that out. He won by a landslide. I knew people would vote for him, but this is way more votes than I was expecting. It would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. I'd like a little more time to think about who to ask. That reminds me. How was Futabachan doing? She seemed like she was looking into something on her own. Has she told you anything? Let's leave it to her. We're not gonna get arrested because the police tracked her down, right? That's the last thing we need now. Even one clue would work wonders for us. We should let her continue with her own investigation. I hope she finds something. Hey. In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary suspects, Goro Akechi had this to say. Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. B what Did I hear you correctly? But Akechi-san, you were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves. Were you not? This doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions. After Oopsie. this conference, Akechi-san announced... There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. By the way, the um, the filter that they put on the voice clips for uh, being on the television is very fitting. Especially with the music. It actually adds... The music itself, too. And, you know, the fact that it's playing on the TV and it has this nice filter on it that, that really does sound like it's playing from a TV. Um, it, uh, it really adds to the atmosphere of the game. Draws you in some more. I love that. Very nice little subtle touch. There's so many great subtle touches that make this game extremely immersive and just awesome and a really great artistic piece, not just a game, you know? He will be limiting his media appearances and... I wonder why the sudden change. I'm super stuck on my Akuma investigation. Seriously, even you're having trouble with this shit? Uh, what should we do? Let's meet up and discuss our options as soon as possible. Tomorrow? The earlier the better, right? Though, I still haven't come up with anything myself. It said two heads are better than one, so I can only imagine what eight heads may produce. Indeed, I, I love that Yusuke's very eloquent way of expressing himself. It makes a lot of sense for an artist. And I think part of the reason I love that so much is because it's probably apparent by the style of my commentary, but I try my best to eloquently express myself as well. That's a good way of thinking. It's a totally Inari idea. <laughs> Uh, I, it's totally an Inari idea. <laughs> okay, let's do everything we can right now. Even if it means crossing some dangerous bridges. Considering how far we've come, we can't be particular about our methodology. What are you staring at your phone like that for? Oh, are you going through a breakup? <laughs> I love the way he says that, like... Oh, God. <laughs> do we... I, I can I just, oh, you go through a breakup? Like, he asks it like it's, like, teasing about a girlfriend or something, right? But, like, teasing about breaking up with a girl? Why would you? No, that's awful. I don't know. I don't get a lot of his, a few of his mannerisms, but I love him otherwise. Anyway, that's not it. Whoa, no need to deny it so seriously. It was just a joke. <laughs> I mean, he's really serious about Makoto, so the idea of breaking up with her is like, Oh god, no! I w I'd say in canon, that's my, uh... That would be why he said that. By the way, you haven't been causing any trouble, have you? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, not in any normal conventional way that most people even believe in, but as the Phantom Thieves, yeah, but you won't figure that out for a while. I heard the police showed up at your school. There's nothing about me. 
long as you're not getting involved. Although, well, that is kind of a lie, but, well, I mean, okay. We were involved with Okumura, but not his murder. So in this case, I don't know if that's a lie. It also, like, the other reason that I chose the response I did was because, well, I don't want to lie to him. Like, lie outright, anyway. Regardless of the fact that I have to omit information, uh, you know, because of the whole fat of Thieves thing. <laughs> so, yeah. I'd rather not be straight up lying to him. Sojuro Hagel. Okay, I'm, I apologize for that if that destroyed your ears or was otherwise really unpleasant or annoying. <laughs> I just like being dumb sometimes like that. It's fun. I wonder if that I wonder if that Yoshida guy is giving a speech in Shibuya again today. Hmm. May Happel or Nobeko. I don't really see a reason to go eat at the beef bowl shop. But considering we can actually go somewhere tonight, actually, Foist I want to go to. Yeah, he's going to be here in Station Square. He is giving one. But Foist, I'm actually going to do some shopping around and stuff. And first lottery before I forget. Hey, nice. Now. Eh. Before I forget again. Eh. We're going to buy a lottery ticket. Soon as I'm going to purchase one as well. On a rest. Bye. Yay. Thank you for your purchase. I'll be mean, announced in a week. By the way, what's what have I got for Munzel? Actually, well, I'll see when I go to the airsoft shop. Okay, 26,000. Uh, I want to sell anything that... Like, if I have treasure lying around, I want to... I don't. I could or an Obeko. Yeah, I think I might, because money... You know what? No. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and visit Yoshida, our politician friend, Palio dude friend. Please consider what I have to say. As the birth rate continues to decline, we adults must redefine our mission. We must create a country that can give birth to life. And we must create a country that can nurture that life. The power of this country lies with the power of its people. Hey, how about Yoshida's speech skills? We should make use of them when you negotiate with when you negotiate with shadows. Good idea. Right? You should ask him. Hmm? Teach you how to give speeches? Why? I just feel like it. <laughs> I've been here that, but I want to know your motive. Can see me again once you know what it is. Interesting. I want to do what you do. Hmm. I'd love to help you, though. How should I teach you? It's time for my speech. Let's talk about this later. E. And while our society appears to be prosperous, many of our young people are quietly suffering. They lack jobs, security, savings the next generation will lead us into the future and yet they have no plan for how to arrive there watch where you're going you little shit you bumped into me you old goat this isn't good uh, let's mediate yes let's good citizens please stop fighting what is the point of bickering over such a trivial matter? This is none of your business! Yes, yeah, seriously, just shut up! What's with this guy? Now, if you'll please excuse me, I must return to my speech. Together, we can create a bright future for the next generation. Ugh. God. So righteous. That really annoys me. Enough of your arrogance, no good, Tora! What? As if anyone would actually vote for you! Are you planning to embezzle funds again? Or maybe criticize one of your constituents again? You criminal! No, no that, that was all in the past. <sighs> I've gone and done it again. It's campaign obstruction. Yes, but I cannot say that to the crowd before an election. Regardless, whenever someone calls me no good Torah. I panic. I went through quite an ordeal 20 years ago. Let me explain. I used to be a member of the National Diet. I was elected during the rise of the Kuramoto children. We were backed by powerful Diet members. This was about 20 years ago. I was very inexperienced back then, both as a politician as well as a human being. That inexperience led me to be involved in a series of 
Major political scandals. People refer to my blunders as no good Torres three strikes. The first was being caught missing a legislative meeting to take a personal vacation. Then, I was accused of embezzling a large sum of money from the party, giving me two strikes. Finally, I called a voter an idiot at an open forum, which resulted in scandal and strike three. I was out and branded a washed up politician. You said you wanted to become a member of the Diet. But do you see the man before you? Questionable, questionable background, accused of embezzlement. However, he has conviction and wants to change the world. Yep, not so different from us. Public speaking skills could be useful to the Phantom Thieves, so I'll make a deal with him. Do you really want to receive my guidance? You seem to have conviction. Conviction's important to him, and to me as well. Happy to hear that. However, everyone says I have no chance to get elected. So why come to me? I like your technique. You mean giving speeches? I'm afraid I'm not so great that you'd be able to learn anything. Well, you're just full of humility, which is another good trait. He's obviously a changed man in a good way. The most important part about giving a good speech is Believing in yourself. By the way, this voice actor, fucking kudos. He's doing a wonderful job. Perhaps one day I will believe in myself again. Yoshi to hug. But you sure got me there. You're a strange young man. Very well. If learning how to give a great speech is what you seek, then I'd be happy to instruct you. In exchange, I would like for you to continue assisting me. Let's get started, shall we? I've made a deal with Yoshida. Hacky friends. And back to the past with Sai. Actually, no, back to the future with Sai. Staging your crimes with calling cards. It's hard to believe that a student could manage this alone. An adult. For example, someone talented enough to move people with words. Perhaps they coached you. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. All right. Yeah. No. Let's pursue your dream of becoming a member of the Diet. Oh my, we've been talking for far too long. Let's call it quits for today. He is son. Good to know. You. I'm sorry, there's something I forgot to mention. It's about my speech schedules from this point on. Would you be willing to stick around to hear it? Of course. Thank you, don't worry, it won't take too long. I'll be here giving my speeches every Sunday. You're welcome to drop by and help me whenever you've got the time. Well then, I That's shall all. see you again soon. That's all I wanted to say. Now, be careful on your way home. I will be. Was that? What does that detective think he's doing? He's just trying to get popular, isn't he? He wants to stand out. Just hurry up and arrest the phantom thieves already. I'm curious. It seems like he knows something. I bet he found out some really juicy secret. Makoto. Has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I don't think it's you've made a mistake, Makoto. I think the reason is because she realizes that it leads to arguments and stuff. And she's trying to avoid all the arguments and stuff with Makoto bringing up her work stuff. So, yeah. I'm considering asking Akechi kun. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous, but without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network. And I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi kun's police connections? You're going to use them as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. 
Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Hmm. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite a Kachikun? You sure about this? I'm not, but we have to do this. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on, how are we even gonna get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. Actually, I do. I've got his number. For real? Could you send that my way, please? Of course. Anything from a grill friend, although I don't think they know about us yet. Him and Makoto. I'll contact him right away. Gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Gotta say, I fucking love Ryuji's voice actor. He's doing a stellar job, man. And his emotion and his intonation is, and the way he says each and every fucking line is perfect. I don't know if I could say that about certainly all the voice actors in this game, but probably even most of them to the degree that uh, he has been. Really, really, really stellar, Ryuji. But all the main voice cast has been stellar. All the side voice cast, uh, but a lot of the main voice cast, hell yeah. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec. Didn't he say he wasn't going to do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we going to do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. <sighs> Who would have thought we'd end up relying on a catchy? Hey, what are you going to do about Kala Kami? Yeah, I'm not going to call her maybe for the rest of the game at this point. We'll see who's available. This. If no one's available, you know what, frankly, if no one's available that I'm already working on, I'm more tempted to just keep stockpiling coffee so that I can just absolutely, guaranteedly blitz through the, the next dungeon. You know, we'll see.